we're asked to sketch the region enclosed by x plus y squared equals 56 and x plus y equals 0. Decide whether to integrate with respect to x or y and then find the area of the region. So I've already graphed the bounded region on the right and notice how the area is bounded on the right by x plus y squared equals 56 and on the left by x plus y equals 0. So because the area is bounded on the right and the left, we'll integrate from the bottom to the top or along the y-axis or with respect to y. And therefore the area is equal to the integral from c to d of the right function minus the left function integrated with respect to y, where both the right and left functions must be functions of y. We will also have to determine the y-coordinates of the points of intersection to determine the limits of integration. We can see graphically the limits of integration will be from y equals negative 7 to y equals 8, but we'll also show how to determine these algebraically. The reason it's more complicated to integrate with respect to x is because notice how working our way from left to right at first, the function is bounded above and below by two functions, but then once we get past a little more than one, notice how the area is bounded by the same function, which should make the integral much more complicated. So integrating with respect to y, we have the area is equal to the integral from negative seven to positive eight of the right function, which is x plus y squared equals 56, which must be written as a function of y. So if we solve this for x, we have x equals 56 minus y squared, and then minus the left function written as a function of y. If we solve x plus y equals zero for x, we have x equals negative y, giving us minus negative y. And now to algebraically verify the limits of integration. To do this, we'd have to solve the system x plus y squared equals 56 and x plus y equals zero for y. Let's solve x plus y equals zero for x, which gives us x equals negative y. And now let's perform a substitution for x into the first equation, which gives us negative y plus y squared equals 56. Setting the equation equal to zero, we have y squared minus y minus 56 equals zero. Solving by factoring the factors of y squared, y and y, the factors of negative 56 that add to negative one are negative eight and positive seven, which gives us y equals eight and y equals negative seven, which notice are the limits of integration. Let's simplify the integrand function. We have 56 minus y squared plus y. And now we need to find the antiderivative which is 56y minus y cubed divided by three plus y squared divided by two. And now we need to find big F of eight minus big F of negative seven. First we substitute eight for y, which gives us 56 times eight minus eight cubed divided by three plus eight squared divided by two minus, and now we substitute negative seven for y, which gives us 56 times negative seven minus the cube of negative seven divided by three plus the square of negative seven divided by two. To save some time, big F of eight is equal to 928 thirds. Then we have minus big F of negative seven is negative 1519 six. Subtracting a negative is equivalent to adding a positive which gives us 1,125 halves, or 562.5. So this is the exact area of the bounded region. I hope you found this helpful.